Howdy do everybody. I wanted to make a video kind of showcasing um, some websites that I found or some peeps in my discord have shared with me that I thought were pretty cool. These ones are kind of like more focused on the 3D part instead of like video game and level design and all that stuff. Maybe I'll make another video with that. So let's just dig right into it. First, we're going to start with Texture Town. Now this place to me is top tier. This is a great website. Back in the day in the 90s and early 2000s, um, a lot of uh, companies who needed textures for their 3D models and, and you know all that stuff would buy CDs and these CDs would be you know uh, filled with a bunch of textures for commercial purposes and stuff like that. A lot of video games used them. I mean like there's like a whole website of Mario 64 peeps finding all the textures and all the texture CDs that were used for that game so um, yeah so anyways and this website has kind of taken a good handful of those CDs and kind of put them all into a library where you can download them and use them for yourself. Let's take a little look. Go to patterns and prints. Look at these. Got a dollar bill. Sick. Got some tie dye. Oh, the candy. This one's kind of fire. And a lot of them are like tileable. Some of them aren't like that one, um, but a lot of cool textures, a lot of just really unique. Like these ones, like, like what the heck are these? It's like an alien spaceship type thing. I don't even know. Super cool. But yeah, so like technically um, all of these, you know, are allowed to use for commercial purposes. Now the, the catch is, is like you're supposed to own the CD and that was your license to use these textures. But it's a lot of those companies have either died and like there's limited amount of those CDs. So like it's kind of like a little bit of a gray area, but still, I think it's still worth checking out these textures and uh, maybe even using them for your projects. Anyways, let's go to the next one. Okay, so the next one is Tex Anim. Very basic website, very not a lot going on, but it's still pretty cool. So this website, you type in a you type in like a like a, a prompt and uh, you know, you choose the font. And it makes a little just like an animated text. It reminds me kind of like what you would put like on your MySpace website. I don't know if it's like super handy, but it is pretty cool. I, I like using it for random projects. You can even put it on your website if you want still. The next website is called Wibby.me. Now this is like an old search engine that kind of like explores like the old web kind of. It's pretty cool. You can find some really interesting stuff. Let's see, let's see what we find. So I picked the surprise me and we have found the rewindmuseum.com. Very, I guess it is literally a museum of rewind stuff. Let's, ooh, let's look at the first home computers. Dude, that is a vibe. That is a vibe. Like, why can't computers look like that? I mean, don't get me wrong. That's a chunky boy. But that chunky boy is fine. It's fine. A 1977 Commodore. That thing is so cool. It's probably really heavy, but really dope. Damn, look at that mouse. First brick cell phones. I, I think these things look super cool. <laughs> Look at that photo, that's so cool. I thought these things were so dope. And then you could have them in your car, like... Oh, that thing is so sick. It's crazy, it's like people used to carry these things everywhere. But yeah, anyways, you know, this website, uh, Wibby.me, is really cool. You can find some really cool stuff, some really interesting websites. Let's do it, let's do another surprise me. 
Feline diabetes, saving diabetic cats since 1996. That's what I am talking about. Keep doing you. Let's do one more. Eggman Land HQ. The Eggman Empire, the sites for... Oh, that's sick. Can I drag him? I can drag him. Oh my God, that is so cool. Oh, I wish he would like fall. This is so cool, you know? Like back in the day, a lot of people had their own websites and you'd kind of just like stumble upon like weird stuff. And uh, I miss that, you know? Everything kind of now is like in one hub, you know? You go to Instagram and you find everyone's profile and everything's very clean and very professional. But this is like, it's a mess and I love it. And I miss that. I miss actually going on the internet and kind of just like exploring this stuff. Anyways, Wibby.me, really dope. Um, speaking of that search engine, this is actually the, the next thing that I found. I found through that uh, search engine. It's basically like another texture town. It is a collection of different textures that, um, you know, on on CDs or our public domain. So you can use them for commercial products and stuff. And there's just a lot of cool textures that you can use for your projects. Like I use that wood like all the time. It reminds me of like my grandma's house for some reason, even though she never had that, but like it reminds me of like a grandma's like kitchen. This kind of like uh, this this texture. But yeah, super cool, super dope. Are you tired of spending hours searching for the perfect snare? Do you keep cycling through the same old sounds, hoping something magical will happen? Well, stop right there. Introducing Super Kami Pack 1, the ultimate collection of 50 unique samples crafted to spark your creativity. And that's not all. Most samples come with MIDI tracks so you can tweak flip and customize them however you like but wait there's more these sounds are made for fun for experimentation and for making music without overthinking it whether you're laying down a groove flipping a sample or just messing around this pack is everything you need to bring your ideas to life hurry this exclusive sample pack is not sold in stores grab your copy today Samples are 100% royalty free, copyright free, and free free. Use them in your beats, your songs, your mixtapes, your grandma's ringtones. We don't care. Just don't resell them or claim them as your own because that's weird. Side effects may include instant inspiration, uncontrollable head body, and an urge to make fire beats at 3 a.m. No refunds, no regrets, only vibes. I love you. Time is an illusion. Bye now. Come here, butter. Anyways, on to the next website. Normal map online. What is normal map online? Well, basically it just creates normal maps. It's that's really it. And uh, you can actually pick your own uh, things. So if you needed like a texture, let's, let's do a texture. Let's go to textures. Let's go to unique. Let's go. Sure. That one. That was really cool. You need a texture uh, with some normal maps. I don't do this very often, but it is fun to play with. And make your own normal maps. You know, this one's really ugly. It's not that good. You can also do displacement and ambient occlusion and specular. Ooh, ooh, ooh. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Pretty simple. You can even load your own OBJ. Wow, that's really random Ooh, the teapot you gotta have the teapot i mean what kind of 3d modeling website is this if you don't have the original teapot then you just hit download and then it's done pretty handy dandy website easy peasy lemon squeezy it's just something to play around with okay so the next this next website is really really dope i use this a lot um, effect texture maker it has like a bunch of different like presets uh, you can do a bunch of stuff like a sun 
Uh, I would definitely want to make a sun texture. Clouds. And then it's like, okay, you know, that's cool. But you can animate it. You can animate the texture. And that's just amazing. That is really amazing. You can make it more dense, thick. Um, you can change the colors. And then you're like, okay, you can make it tileable. You want to make a tile? This is not a very good example. Let's go to something else. Bonfire. I don't think a bonfire is something you really want to tile, but you can. You can make a bonfire. And then this one, uh, Squiggles. Squiggles is pretty cool. Um, and then if you want to make a tileable, you can make a tileable. So it's like an infinite, you know. The only thing I don't like about this is it doesn't export in PNG sequences, which is which is like what I like to use for textures and stuff, but it will export as a sprite sheet. So, you know, if you're okay with that, it'll export as a sprite sheet, which is great for video games. If you want to use it for video games, that's awesome. And then also you can export it with alpha. Oh, I got to show you this one though. Look at that. That is a beautiful texture. Oh my God. It's like, it looks like metal water. Okie dokie. The next website is Kari's Institute. It has like an index of aesthetics, just like a bunch of different uh, styles of art that you have seen a million times through commercials, advertising, product advertising, movies, TV shows, bumpers, commercials, anything kind of like in that realm. And like you've seen it, but you really don't know what it's called. And um, yeah, it's like they kind of like kind of compiled all of those kind of art styles and, and put them here with their name and kind of like it just helps you as an artist kind of like find these styles and at least for me a lot of my stuff is inspired on things like I grew up with so knowing these different aesthetics is um it's kind of good for me you know like this one like my younger sister loved all of this stuff and I had no idea it was like an aesthetic. I had no idea like this was like an, an art form, but you know, Curly Girly, which is based off of um, that that actual font. Um, the font, I think it was called Curly Girly. It's something like that. Yeah, this one. Um, it spawned like a whole art form. It's amazing. Early Cyber, pretty cool. I love Factory Pomo. Oh my gosh, this is one of my favorites. It just looks so cool. It's like, so factory postmodernism, it kind of has that 90s wacky post, like postmodernism or wacky Pomo, but more for like, kind of like industrial kind of looks. Um, another one I really like is Utopian Scholastic. And yeah, it's like all of your like science books and textbooks were like, kind of like, in this kind of like style and I love it. I've been actually like really digging this style lately. Anyways, onto the next one is model resource. Now I feel like a lot of people have actually heard of this website. It's pretty, uh, I would say it's pretty popular. Um, but I thought I would include it anyways. I feel like it's a really good website. Um, basically models resource and all their other kind of library sprites, models, textures, sounds, they rip the assets from video games and upload them. So you can use them as FBX or OBJ, uh, files. And like, if you're first getting into 3d kind of like in this world of like video games and stuff like that. It's really cool to like check out these models so you can like click the model and then download it. Um, let, let's actually take a look at this model. Okay. So I have pulled it into blender and, um, yeah, it's, it's a, actually a very basic model. I don't even think this is like linked. 
No, it's not. So it's basically just a bunch of spheres and cylinders <laughs> kind of like bunched up into this really cool space hub. And uh, yeah, let's, let's take a look at the texture. It's very, very basic. And they, I think that's the same one. I know it's different. And that one is the same as that. And these are different. This one's different. So it's basically like almost kind of like the same thing and they just like repeat it. Oh, this one's different. What do they do here? Okay. They use a different UV? No. Oh, they actually use a different <laughs> model or they like layered it. So instead of like, it'd be easier for me to like create a new UV and add this texture onto this UV and then overlay it on here, I think. That's what you'd be able to do. I might be wrong, but uh, yeah, they just like duplicated it and then added a different texture with transparency to make it look like th there's these buttons on top of the, the texture. Pretty interesting. And then here they just changed the hue. This is really crazy. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like, look how detailed this model is, but it's really actually created in a very simple way. So anyways, it's really cool to like check out this website and to look at this stuff. So I will say I would recommend not using this stuff in your animations. Um, first, like, it's not yours and it's illegal. They're actually rips from the video game. So you don't have legal access to even use these. Um, second, if you use these and use them in like a commercial project, you can get sued for it. And then also there's a chance that the website might be taken down. I mean, we all know how Nintendo is, so I wouldn't be surprised that they would want to take this website down. So. It's a really cool resource. I would say don't abuse it, but it's really helpful if you want to learn how to do 3D animation in a specific style. You know, if you want to do like GameCube stuff, you can take a look at their textures and how it's different from like an N64 game and then even like higher up to in like an Xbox 360 game. Uh, it's really cool, especially if you're like making video games and stuff. Anyways, on to the next one. I wasn't going to put this on this list, but I actually just remembered it. Um, this is the Gift Cities asset website. So basically, they have collected a bunch of different animated gifts that that are on the Internet Archive. So let's like look up, um, I guess, Mario. And it has collected all of these. I got to make sure these are actually all safe <laughs> for looking at. Um, there are some crazy ones. But yeah, you know, really cool website to check out all these different gifts. And there's even like ones where they're like old advertising gifts that you'd see on websites like this one. You know, it's like. You don't see those a lot uh, now, but back in the day, you'd click a website and there'd be like thousands of these like showing up on your screen. You'd be like, whoa. Anyways, that will be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think I'll make another video uh, exploring some websites uh, that involve kind of more of like video game design and level design and uh, some assets uh, with that. But yeah, a lot of these websites I either discovered or people in my Discord community has also sent me. So if you are interested in finding more, you know, join my Discord. I'll have the link in the description. And yeah, if you have any cool websites that you would like to show me and post a comment of it or, or send it through Discord. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.